Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. We the Hebrew Israelites coming week in, week out, prophesied a down for all this wicked kingdom. You know, and before we get started, we're going to get our honor and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, by Hashem, Rakakadash, and double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Rule well, being the greatest honor to the younger brothers in the truth, and peace and blessing to the hopeful lick, and Lord willing, this edifying. And through the spirit, I came with the title of this lesson from a shirt I bought, you know. And on the shirt, that's the shirt right there. Say, um, don't quit, <laughs> do it. You know. Mm -hmm. So you know, we just gonna get into a few scriptures. You know, hey, <laughs> prove showing that we, hey, we can't quit, man. You know, hey, we if we want the kingdom of heaven, we gotta we gotta continue pushing, man, into the end, man. Okay. You know, through the spirit and power, you how about you, how shy. I don't know what's the first scripture y'all just grab, you know, whatever. Cool. Um, I got Revelation 22 and 12. I think I got the first one, though. Okay. Hebrews 10. Yeah, try to Hebrews 10 and 39. Okay, this Hebrews 10. Let me start at 38. Okay. It say, Now the just shall live by faith, but if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. Uh, see, we, you know, hey, we can't quit, man. You say, you say, don't quit, do it. You know, we can't draw back, man. You know, we ain't, we ain't other people that draw back. We got to keep doing this work until the Lord return. He say, occupy till he come, man. Uh, you know, here it is. You done took a whole two, three years off <laughs> and thank the Lord dealing with you. No, man. You know, you quit. You quit for a while, then you, you know. Uh, game over with, goddamn. You want to get back in the game once it's too goddamn late. No, man. That ain't how the Lord work, man. Mm -hmm. You get that revelation up. That twin Oh, you got some more up. You, you got it up. Um, verse 39, Hebrews 10 and 39. But we are not of them who draw back un unto perdition, but, but of them that believe to the saving of the soul. Okay. Yep, we ain't, we ain't know them who draw back into perdition and perdition basically going into destruction, man. You take your hand off the plow, your head gonna get destroyed, man. Simple as that, man. Mm -hmm. You can't quit, man. Once you come into the, hey, this like, this like the Bloods and the Crips, man. The Vice Lords and the GDs, them, you know. Hey, blood in, blood out, man. That's how the Lord coming, man. That's how you know he the ultimate Jake, because the Lord ain't he ain't no, uh, you play, you know, you get in for a little bit, then you just quit. No, your ass gonna get put to death, man. That's the only way out, you know. You can grab that uh, revelation. Um, which one, the 22 and 12 or the, the 2 and 25? 22 and 12, I think was the first one. Um, this is Revelation chapter 22, verse 12. It said, and behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. God, and so, hey, they go to show you, hey, the Lord coming with that reward, man. Here it is, you racing, you know, you trying to you trying to win, man. You know, and the Lord say he come quickly and his reward is with him, man. You know, and, and don't quit do it. That's really something like people use in the world. Like they just do it like Nike and, you know, that's 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 a competitive mind state, man. When you got that on your mind, don't quit, do it. There's no matter what, man. You know, on if you got that on your mind, no matter what happened, you can't quit. You just got to continue on, you know, what you embarked on, man. Good. You know? It, that was all on it. Yeah. yeah. I think they're all uh, Revelation to him. Yeah, I got yeah that. you can grab that too. Um, this is uh jumping back to um the book of Revelation. And if y'all got some precepts, you know, chapter two, verse twenty five, it say, "But that which ye have already hold fast till I come." Uh, All right. Um. Verse twenty six, and he that overcometh and keepeth my works until the end. To him will I give power over the nation. So at the end of the day, the Lord say his reward is with him. 
you know. But at the end, you gotta you gotta hold on till he come, man. You can't quit. You know, cause if you quit, <laughs> hey, you you the one who gonna be you going your reward is gonna be destruction. Mm. You know, cause the Lord say he gonna reward reward those according to their work shall be. If you quit, shit, your reward is destruction. You basically like a two third that knew the truth. You know, you that servant that knew the Lord will and hid your talents in the napkin, man. Mm. You know, you quit. You, you you ain't worthy of the kingdom at the end of the day, man. I think that I think that Revelation um, twenty two might have a little more on it, but you got it up. You got it. You got your pre up. Uh, I could be wrong. This uh, back in Hebrews oh, no, chapter twelve, verse thirty thirty five. Cast not away, therefore, your confidence, which hath great recompense of reward. <laughs> For ye have need of patience, that after ye have done the will of Yahweh, ye might receive the promise. Okay. You know, so, hey, you can't cast away your confidence, man. You know, you can't quit, man. We can't quit, man. We got too much. Here it is. This the end, you know. The the vision was yet for a point in time, and at the end, it's speaking loud and clear. Y- you'll be a fool to quit right now, man. Mm. You know, you'll be the fool to just put put the. Nah, I'm done being an Israelite. I want to be a a, a a kingpin now. You know, I want to be a rapper now. You know, I'm thinking about going back to school. What the fuck is what What the fuck is wrong with you, man? You know, here it is. The Lord finna make you a ruler over the heathens. You fin you you still in Revelation? Keep going in that Revelation two and twenty five. Read it all the way oh, to the bottom. This verse twenty seven. Um, it says, "And he shall rule them with a rod of iron." See, the Lord finna make us rule over the people with a rod of iron, man. You got it up. As the vessels of our potters shall they be broken to shivers. Yeah, we finna break these heathens into pieces, man. Even as I received of my father. Yeah, the same thing Yahweh shall receive of his father. That's what we gonna receive because we joint heirs with the Mashiach, man. Come. Got it up. And I will give him the morning star. Come. And he that he have an ear, let him hear Come. what the Spirit said unto the churches. And we know the morning star is talking about Yahweh Shai. He say he that bright in the morning star. You you will throw with yours up. Oh, this is one more one more verse. You got it. Hebrews ten and thirty seven. For yet a little while, and he that shall come will come and will not tarry. Come. Yeah. You know, so the Lord is on his way, man. So all we got to do is <laughs> endure until the Lord get back, man. You know? Y'all had uh, yours. I think I got the last few precepts. Um, that's like a good address in uh, Proverbs 24, 16. I think I got some. I mean, you can you can grab that proverb. Yeah, grab that proverb. All right. Um, this is the book of Proverbs, chapter 24, verse 16. It say for a just man falleth seven times and rises up again. Yeah, see a just man, <laughs> he ain't gonna quit, man. Just because he falling and shit getting hard, you know, he feeling unworthy. No, he gonna get back up, man. You know, a just man, he gonna fall seven times and he gonna get his ass up and keep pushing, man. Mm. You know, but what it say about the wicked? But the wicked shall fall into mischief. Yeah, the wicked, he gonna, he gonna quit. He gonna become more wicked, you know. Hey, the demon's gonna have a party on his, on his top, man. On his head, man. You know? Mm. So, a wicked man, he fall, he ain't gonna get up, man. He just gonna lay down and give up, man. That's ultimately what they're saying, man. You know? You can grab that um, other one, too. That second is the sixteen. All right, this is the book of um Second Edges, chapter sixteen, um verse seventy four. Here, O ye my beloved, said the Lord, behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. 
Done, you know. Hey, so uh, keep going on that. Uh. All right. Be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for God is your God. Yahweh is our God. Yahweh by Shemmy Hashem is guiding us through this thing, man. Hmm. So why should we quit, man? We got the Lord, <laughs> you know. The Almighty Yahweh and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, and the angels guiding us through this walk we in to, you know, we got ministering spirits here. It is. We got the, <laughs> uh, we got the heavenly hosts guiding us through this walk, man. You know. Okay. You got it. You know. Um, verse seventy six, and the God of them who keep my commandments and precepts said, the Lord Yahweh. Let not your sins weigh you down. Yeah, and that's going into just man falling seven times, but he get his ass up, man. Come. You know, brush the dirt off and he keep pushing, man. Come. You got it. And let not your iniquities lift up themselves. Yeah, and that's going to that wicked man. He fall into mischief, man. You know? Come. So we can't we can't let our iniquities lift themselves up. We gotta strive to do better. But at the same time, hey, we in this sinful flesh, and it, it, hey, it's hard, but we got to keep pushing, man. Mm. You know, we can't, no matter what, we can't quit. We got to continue to repent. We got to keep going hard for Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, <laughs> until he come deliver us out of these wicked ass chains of darkness, man. Mm -hmm. You got your love. Mm -hmm. Oh. <clears throat> It's Hebrews uh, chapter 12. Uh, now I'm starting Luke. Okay. It was Luke. Uh, now you wanted me to get it. What do you want me to get it? or something like that. Okay. I think it was 62. It was in the 60s, I know. All right. This is uh, Luke chapter 9. Luke chapter 9, I'm going to start at, yeah, I'll just get straight to the point, 62. Now I'll get 61. It says, another, also, another, I'm going to start at verse, I'm going to start at verse 60. Luke chapter 9, verse 60, it said, Yahweh shall said unto him, let the dead bury their dead, but go Thou and preach the kingdom of the most high. And that's what we gotta do, man. We gotta go and preach the king. That's what we gotta that's what we can't quit. We just gotta do it, man. We yeah. gotta preach, man. Teach our people who they are. You know, warn our people about the dangers that's befalling the earth. Not finna befall this shit is happening live in the flesh right now as we speak, man. Mm -hmm. Hey, the same way we up making a video, Esau up plotting, man. Mm -hmm. You know? This nigga ain't sleep right now, man. People Come. ain't dying in the streets. Come. You know, the scriptures say this nigga don't sleep unless he calls son to fall, man. Mm -hmm. You know, he ain't getting good rest because his, his new world order, you know, when, when people dying by the thousands, hundreds, and millions, that that's when that nigga gonna goddamn get good rest, man. You know, but it's going to be short-lived. You got it. Come read again. It says, Yahweh shall said unto him, let the dead bury their dead. Okay. And so it, how can a dead person bury another dead person? They're saying that that, that person is spiritually dead, man. Somebody grab that precept for our, uh, he that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall Con, reign in congregation the congregation of the dead. dead. Con. It said, let the dead bury their dead because these people, are, are they are spiritually dead, man. Con. You know, they in the congregation of the dead, like the brother finna pull that priest up. That's why I say let the dead bury their dead. Mm -hmm. That's a spiritually dead person burying a physically dead person. Get um get revelations eleven and verse eight to uh okay. Come on, it said, But go thou and preach the kingdom of the most high. Huh? Another verse sixty one, and another also said, Lord, I will follow thee, but let me first go bid them farewell, which are at my which are at home at my house. And Yahweh shall say unto him, No man having put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of the most high. Yeah, so if you quit, man, you know, here it is. You got a whole motherfucking field to plow. <laughs> uh. And you got a certain time to do it, man. Mm -hmm. But you done quit 
and let that time pass you up then want to try to put your hands back on the plow mm-hmm. when when it's when when something i didn't got somebody else to do the job mm-hmm. it's too late for you baby but mm-hmm. you've been replaced Come. you ain't want to do it then you seen shit start popping off now you want to do it no no hell nah your ass is out it man mm-hmm. i got somebody else doing the job i don't need you you quit Come. You know, I got another one. This uh, let them grab them okay, so you get too good. Cool. You grab that congregation of the dead. All right, this um, this is Proverbs chapter twenty one verse sixteen. The man that wandereth out of the way of the understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. Yeah, and that's what the Lord. I mean, that's what it was meant by let the dead bury they dead, man, mm-hmm. and grab that Revelation eleven and eight. It's a Revelation. 11 and 8 and their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt where also our Lord was crucified so they're not literal dead bodies they're just talking about they spiritually dead man you know ain't nobody tell us we was the Israelites man ain't nobody tell us that hey us committing sin basically lead to death you know the wages of sin is death man you know so hey, they they let our our dead bodies lie in the street, man. All through a, a Babylon the Great, man. They ain't tell us who we were, man, because we know that keeping the commandments and righteousness is immortality, man. Life, man. You know, mm-hmm. the law is a command. I mean, the law is a um, the book of the law is is life. Roughly paraphrasing Baruch four, man. You know, but you got it out. Come on, this um. This Ecclesiastes 9-11, just straight to the point, says, I returned and I saw under the sun that the race is not to the swift. Huh? Because it don't matter how fast you are, man. It, it, it ain't about how fast you are, man. Huh? This thing is about enduring, man. Yep. You know, we going to get it, that. You got it, you got uh, it. Man. I was going to say, it's about not quitting, man. Mm-hmm. You ain't got to mm-hmm. be first in the race, man. You know? Mm-hmm. It ain't about this a marathon. The, the whole point of the of the of this competition is completing it, man. Mm-hmm. You know how you got an obstacle course, and, and it ain't about how fast you do it, and you know it ain't about being first. It's just about completing it, man. Mm-hmm. You know if you can if you complete it, you get your reward. Yep. But if if you don't complete it, then you do. You know. Come. On. You got it. Up. And uh. Just to prove that point, you know, this Matthew chapter 24 and uh, <clears throat> verse 13, it says, but he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. That's why the race ain't about, you know what I'm saying, how fast you can run. It's about enduring, man. Like the brothers always say, when you're running that 400 meter, man, it ain't about how fast you run it because if you start out fast, you're going to burn yourself out quick, man. Mm. So once you start, once you get around that last curve, man, in that in that 400 lap, that's when you give it your all and you start running faster, man. Mm. It says, he that endured to the end, same shall be saved. So now I'm going to get back to this uh, Ecclesiastes 9 and 11. Um, <clears throat> man, he falling slow as hell. Okay, this is back in Ecclesiastes chapter 9 <clears throat> and verse 11. It says, I returned and saw under the sun that the race is not to the swift. It's all about enduring until the end, man. Mm-hmm. It says, nor the battle to the strong. It mm-hmm. don't matter how strong you are. Mm-hmm. It says, neither yet bread to the wise nor yet riches to men of understanding, nor yet favor to men of skill, but time and chance happeneth to them all. Uh-huh. And I got another one. <clears throat> I'm going to get in that uh, Hebrews. Hebrews chapter 12, uh, verses 1 uh, through 3. It says, Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doth so easily beset us. And because we're in these corruptible bodies, man, and we tend to go off from time to time. That's why these sins easily beset us. Mm-hmm. It says, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Suffer. 
you know, run with patience. Calm. We suffering, man. Tired, Calm. you know. Mm-hmm. Wore out. hard, need some to drink. Calm. You know? Calm. Calm. Yeah. Somebody search up that scripture that say, uh, um, they wearing out the saints. Um, I'm going to read it again. It says, wherefore, seeing we we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doth so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us, looking unto Yahweh Shah, the author and finisher of our faith, mm-hmm. who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of the Most High. And that's how we got to be, man. You know, we got to, we, we in that same stead, man. Mm-hmm. Hey, the scriptures tell us to bear our cross, man. You know, we got to, we got to bear our cross. He said, for the joy that was set before him. Hey, that same joy set before us, man, today, man. That's why we can't quit. We got to do it, man. Mm-hmm. You know, we can't quit, man. At, here it is, you at the end. You about to cross the damn finish line, and you done just said, nah, I don't even want to finish the race. Mm-hmm. Turn around, walk back. Man, what the fuck wrong with you, man? Mm-hmm. All you had to do was finish the race, man. Come. You got it, up. Come, verse 3. Last verse, it says, For consider him that endured such contradiction of sinners against himself, lest ye be weary and faint in your minds. <laughs> so we can't, we can't, we can't faint. We can't stop. You know, we got to keep going hard, man, for you. How about Shem Yahashah? You got to understand, hey, the Lord went through all this for the elect's sake, man. The Lord actually died. He got tortured, <laughs> hung up on the cross, man, mm-hmm. mistreated. But guess what? He ain't quit. He just went through it, man. He prayed that he could, you know, the Lord could, uh, 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 pray. he prayed for another way. But guess what? The Lord said, nope, that's that's what it is, man. I ain't finna answer you, man. Mm-hmm. You know? And that's what that was his answer. No answer. Come that's on. the same thing with us. When we face with these different trials and uh, tribulations and things, hey, we're gonna pray to you how about Shem Yahushua that the Lord, you know, if it be uh, something hard, hey, if it be your will, Lord, can you take this, you know, can I not suffer it? If the Lord don't stop it, then that's what it is, man. You still can't quit, even if it's death. You know, being tortured or whatever, whatever we gotta go through, man. My bad. Y'all got it. Come, uh, you still got it. Daniel seven two. Yeah. Um, this is the book of Daniel, chapter seven, verse twenty five, and he shall speak great words against the Most High, and shall wear out the saints of the Most High. You yeah, see, that's what's happening, man. We being we being worn out by these devils, man. Uh. You know that's uh, so that's that's why the race <laughs> is not given unto the swift. It's given unto he, him that endure, man, because and not the strong. Because at the end of the day, we woe out, man. Somebody grab that scripture. He that endure to the end. Con, con, I had I already quoted. Yeah, that's the spirit, saying. though. Uh-huh. Yeah, I think I had I already pulled it. But uh, that's the spirit. Still, somebody can get it again. It no matter. That Matthew, though. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's the one I was in. Um, go ahead and finish it up. Uh, it say, um, and think to change times and laws, and they shall be given unto his hand unto a time and times and the dividing of time. Come, on, man. And that's and that's where we at right now, man. You Come, know? On. Come Hey, on. this nigga was given the hey the earth was given into the hands of the wicked, man. Mm-hmm. You know. And they given it to him for a set amount of time. The Lord say he created the bounds that he could not pass. He created bounds for Esau, the so-called white man, mm-hmm. that he could not pass, man. Mm-hmm. So all we got to do is endure until that time is up, man. This nigga finna go down, man. And, hey, man, just look at what this devil pushing in the earth, man. You know it's over with, man. Mm-hmm. What he allowing to go down, what he changing. And, you know, they talking about... Half the species gonna be dead, you know, before goddamn twenty fifty, and cr- just, just like this nigga destroying the earth, man. Mm-hmm. The Lord can't let him continue. The scriptures say, if he continue ruling, no flesh gonna be saved, man. Mm-hmm. That's why the Lord shortening the day, and then the Lord working on our behalf. He actually shortened the days for us, man. Mm-hmm. You know, you gonna quit now? The Lord shortened the day. He he working the. Hey, everything Esau doing, 
<laughs> the Lord doing more for the elect, man. We we got this nigga, man. You know, Esau on the ropes, man. This nigga breathing hard, scared. You know, wobble noodle legs. You know, mm-hmm. this nigga done, man. He reaching and shit, and that shit still ain't working. Mm-hmm. Come on, you got some. Yeah, this is uh First Corinthians nine. We start at verse nineteen. This is Paul speaking. It says, "For though I be free from all men, yet have I made myself servant unto all." That I might gain the more. And and that's a part of running this race, man. You know, bearing fruit, man. It says, verse 20, and unto the Jews I became a Jew, that I might gain the Jews. To them that are under the law, as as under the law, that I might gain them that are under the law. To them that are without law, as without law, being not with without law to the most high, but under the law. To Hamashiach, that I might gain them that are without law. <laughs> See, and that's a, like I say, that's a part of running this race, man. It ain't we ain't running a physical race, man. We trying to we trying we trying to feed the feed the elect of the sheep, man. We, we're making ourselves servants unto them, man. Because what is the base word of being a servant? To serve, man. We're serving food to the sheep, man. Hmm. It says, uh, to the weak became I as weak. That I might gain the weak. I am made all things to all men, that I might by all means save some. And this I do for the gospel's sake, that I might be partaker thereof with you. Know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receiveth the prize? So run that ye may obtain. It says, verse 25, and every man that striveth for the mastery. Is temperate in all things. Damn. Now, <laughs> now, they, now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we an incorruptible. Somebody grab that word for mastery in the blue love. Come, on. it says, uh, verse twenty six. I there, I therefore so run, not as uncertainly. So, so fight I, not as one that beateth the air, but I keep under my body and bring it into subjection. And that, hey, that's a part of running the race too, man. Cause like I say, you get tired, you get weary, man. Yeah. But you got to keep going. You got to put your body into subjection, man. Mm-hmm. It says, "Lest that by any means, when I have preached to others, I myself should be a castaway, man." Mm-hmm. You got to keep. You got to keep going, man. Yep. You got. You got to practice what you preach, man. It may be scribe. Go to scribe for the, just. Just go to the for? word scribe in the blue letter. Scribe mm-hmm. for the master in the blue letter. Cool. Yeah. I'm bringing this one out while he looking for that. You got it. This is um, the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 13. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Okay, so that's that's it right there, man. You can't quit, man. Mm-hmm. You you must endure to the end if you want to be saved, man. Mm-hmm. You, you, at the end of the day, we just got to do it. A lot of people going to die. You know, a lot of people ain't going to make it. It is what it is. And it's that's written, you know. Ain't no point in quitting because this motherfucker don't want to uh, repent, don't want to serve your power, man. Fuck right. them, man. They'll right. be back in the kingdom, man. Come on. You know? They mm-hmm. coming back. They got to go to sleep right now, though. <laughs> you know? Come on. Uh, you got it? Come on. Yeah, you go ahead. Uh, this is 1 Corinthians 9 and 25. And every man that striveth for the mastery is temperate in all things. Now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we an incorruptible. Come on, I just read that. He wanted to just get the word strive. Oh, yeah, blue. I want to look it up in the blue. Uh, I'm in now. Uh, so I got it. 25. You got it? Come on. Come on. It's a, the word definition for strive, I mean for mastery, to enter a contest, contend in the gymnastic games, to contend with adversaries, to fight, to struggle with difficulties and dangers, hmm. to endeavor with strenuous zeal uh, to obtain something. And that's yeah. what that's what's going on, man, because when we run in this race, it, we on the obstacle course, man. We ain't just running. We jumping over hurdles. We going around shit, all kinds of shit, man. It's, it's an obstacle course, man. You got it. That would strive from both words. Romans. 
go to mastery too. What you? That was mastery. Okay. Uh, go to scribe. Yeah, get scribe. Hmm. I don't see one. What Romans? Oh, eight and twenty. Oh, that was that was strive strive is for the master the whole thing. Okay, okay that, that that was perfect. Call, call perfect. I mean, you can get yeah. if you want to. Work skills five. You hear him out. Yeah. Oh, um, this is Romans chapter eight verse twenty eight, and we know that all things work together for good to them that love Yahweh. Yeah, so hey, everything working together for this man. No matter what what's going on, it's it's all working together for this. Every move Esau making, every move two third making, every move a scoff, everything is is working on our behalf. So why why should we quit now, man? Everything is is on our behalf, man. No matter what the hell going on in the earth, no matter who talking shit. It, it's fulfilling prophecy, man. Mm -hmm. You got it. Up. To them that are called according to this purpose. Huh? And, hey, we, hey, the scriptures say we we caught we we called into something. This, <laughs> hey man, this office that we've caught been called into is is above everything, man. You know, you got to think about the hundred and forty-four thousand men. Uh, they they was the first fruit that created everything, man. Those are powers up under Yahweh, why Yahweh shot, man. Mm -hmm. Above the angels, above the, the demons, you know? Mm -hmm. We we got a purpose, man. This shit bigger than this, man. So we can't quit, man. We we can't be playing and, and bullshitting, man. Come on. We got to do it, man. You Come know? On. Yeah, I had something new. Yeah, I got another one. Um, <laughs> go ahead, up. Come so, what, uh, this uh, Second Ezra Chapter 16 Verse 73 It says um, Then shall they be known sh Then shall they be known Who are my chosen And they shall be tried As the, the gold in the fire uh, So hey We finna be tried man we finna be tried as the gold in the fire, but we can't quit because that's that's what got to happen, man. We got to be purified and made clean, man. When you find some gold, you got to you gotta put it through the test, man. You know? And that's what the Lord doing with us on this walk that we embarked on, man. He putting us through the test, man. So we can't quit, man. We got to go through everything that we have to go through, man. Okay. You know? Hey, we don't know what's finna happen in these times. We gotta prepare our minds for the worst, so we won't quit, man. Mm -hmm. We don't know what the hell finna happen. We don't know what the Lord finna put us through, man. But we know He gonna deliver us from all of it, man. Mm -hmm. You know. Kind of like the, like the brother said, he just brought that scripture out. Say everything work for the good of them that fear the Lord. So everything we, He gonna put us through is gonna uh, purify us. Kind. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. This is uh, 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 20. It says, For what glory is it if when ye be buffeted for your faults, ye shall take it patiently? But if when ye do well and suffer for it, ye take it patiently, this is acceptable with the Most High. Okay. You see, <laughs> it's acceptable with the Most High, man, to, to suffer the things that we go through, man, on a day-to-day, -day, man, because ultimately it, it, it's the Heavenly Father putting us through that fire of, of affliction, man, that furnace of affliction, so we can come out like pure gold, man, at the end of the day, because he said uh, the one-third is going to have to go through the fire and, and be purged, man. We're going to have to get those impurities burned off of us, man, but we're going to be all right on the other side, man. It said, um, this is the book of Ephesians, chapter 6, verse 11. It said, put on the whole armor of Yahweh, that ye may be able to stand against the wells of the devil. Uh, so we got we to gotta put on the whole armor of the Lord so we can, we can you know, endure this fight, man. Mm -hmm. And what's the armor of the Lord? This truth, man. Mm -hmm. You know, this knowledge and wisdom and understanding that was given it to us, man. The scriptures mm -hmm. say knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of that time and the fear of the Lord uh, and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is our treasure, man. Mm -hmm. 
You know, so the a hey, this this word, you know, this wise counsel that the Lord has, you know, woken us up to, you know, and gave us the 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 men of the Lord to to guide us, help guide us, you know, teach us, you know, mm. <laughs> we got a, a a cheat code man to win this race, man. Mm. What that is, man. Hey, you how about him? You how shot, man? His word, man. Mm. You know, his son, man. Hey, we good, man. All we gotta do is just keep pushing, man. Shit get hard, pray, man. That's a cheat code, man. You know? You catch a head, <laughs> hey, go and pray, man. That's a that's a cheat code, man. Trust in the Lord, man. When you pray, don't be, oh, I don't know if this go no. Just pray to the Lord and and forget about it, man. Mm-hmm. Amun, man. Let it so let it be, man. That's what they mean when you say Amun. So let it be, man. Once you hit that, so let it be. You don't think about it no more. You know, after once you hit that, you know the Lord gonna put, gonna do whatever He seen fit for you, man. Mm-hmm. Fuck the rest of it, man. Because mm-hmm. the, like the Lord say, draw nigh unto Him, and He'll draw nigh unto you. Mm-hmm. So when you pray, just that's what that you did your part, yep. and just have faith, and the Lord gonna do His part. Yeah, I want to grab this. Uh, I want to grab this. Uh, First Peter two and twenty one more time. It says, "For what glory is it if when ye be buffeted?" I got that word buffeted pulled up. It says, "For what glory is it? What for what glory is it if when ye be buffeted for your faults, ye shall take it patiently?" Hmm. Now I'm gonna get that word buffeted right quick. And it says. To strike with the fist, give one a blow with the fist, to maltreat, treat with violence and con- contumely. And that's what that's what's going on, man. We under attack right now, man. You know, by the by the by the so-called white man, because the Lord created him to be a whooping stick for us. You know, they chastising us, you know, left and right, killing us dead in the street, you know. But that's that's being struck with the fist when you when you when you are when you are at fault man but see the prophets are on the highways and byways right now man we ain't at fault we trying to do what's pleasing in the sight of the most high and guess what we gonna be persecuted some of us gonna be persecuted for that man that's why i say that's why i say um ye shall take it patiently but if you but if when ye do well and suffer for it yet take it patiently this is acceptable with the most high uh-huh. so so if we doing well we doing the things that's pleasing in the sight of the most high out on the highways and byways feeding the sheep man feeding the elect you know doing lessons man we, we're doing well in the sight of the most high man so he so he said when if when you do when you do well and suffer for it yet take it patiently man uh, somebody grab michael Michael's chapter 7 and verse 9 mm-hmm. Yeah cause the scripture say We gonna some of us gonna be uh, Giving up man into mm-hmm. the synagogues You know yep. And they gonna persecute us all for the name of Yahweh Shem Yahweh man You said 7 to 9 Yeah I think so But suffer patiently man and take it Come on, the Lord say we gonna be hated By the world by all men For his name's sake man Come on. So we coming into a time where, hey, the men of the Lord, it's, it's finna be the elect, you know, the 144,000, the unknown multitude against the world, man. Mm-hmm. It's billions of people on this earth, man. You know, but it's a small number of those uh, six, seven, eight billion people that's on the earth that's of the elect. A very small number. It's a, it's a thousand million people in one billion, man. Mm-hmm. You know, it ain't no billion members of the elect, man. No. Um. Uh-huh. It's a small sanctuary, man. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. That's why the Lord said, count yourself blessed when they shall persecute you. Because, mm-hmm. like the, the Ike said, the elect is a small number. Uh-huh. So you blessed if you're part of it. Yep. Uh-huh. The, the scripture tell you to leap for joy when those things, when they persecute us and deliver us to the synagogue. Uh-huh. The scripture say leap for joy. Uh-huh. You know? Mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, Esau come in, this nigga got the whole SWAT team, you and Marshalls and shit, mm-hmm. and you and you happy like what up? Oh shit, I've been mm-hmm. waiting on y'all motherfuckers to roll, man. What yeah. the fuck y'all been waiting on, man? They ain't gonna know how to take that. They gonna man. be like, what the fuck? Hell yeah. 
you, you know, you gonna be in good cheer, talking shit. They got you got them, you know, in the back of the damn uh, uh, a black suburban or some shit. Mm-hmm. Tinted window. You oh. know, you gonna be talking like shit. You, cause we know we ain't did shit. Mm-hmm. We being persecuted for righteousness sake, man. Come on. You know, but we gonna be happy because it's going down, man. That's what we waiting on for it to go down so this shit can be over with, man. We sick of this shit, man. Mm. Yep. Hey, the anticipation of waiting on it to go down, mm-hmm. that that's hell in itself, man. That's yeah, us yeah. suffering patiently, man. Come on. We suffering, man. Come on. Waiting on this nigga to roll, man. Come on. You got that, though. Come on. This is um, the book of Michael, chapter 7, verse 9. I will bear, Salaki, I will bear the... Indignation of the law of Yahweh. Yeah, and that's the righteous anger of the Lord. Cause hey, what it say? We do. Nah, you keep going. Oh, because I have sinned against him until he pled my cause. Yeah, to the Lord plead our cause. Cause we sinned against the Lord, man. Mm-hmm. You know, so he have a reason, you know, to put us through what we going through. You arguing with your woman and you catching hell and catching hell at work. Still got to come home and do the work, you know. We come. can't quit, man. Hey, every day we battling, man. Mm-hmm. You battling in within your mind, battling sin. You know, we just, it's it's an all-out battle every day for the men of the Lord, man. Come. And don't nobody understand it but us, man. Come. You know, you can't talk to a, a nigga in the world <laughs> about your battles in the truth, man. The only person you can talk to is somebody who's going through the same shit you're going through. Yeah. And that's a fellow brethren, man. Ain't nobody else going through what we going through, uh, battling demons and and all that stuff, man. These people jolly go lucky, man. They don't give a damn what the hell going on, man. That's yeah. because they ain't following your house. Shot. Your house, I said, man. He did, he did uh, follow me. Prepare your soul for temptation, man. Mm-hmm. They ain't going through this kind of stuff, man. Because they still in the world. They ain't following your house, shot, man. Mm-hmm. Them niggas got worldly riches, worldly gain. Niggas selling dope to one another, all kinds of stupid shit, man. Selling out the Esau. Selling out the Esau. Yep. You know, they, they may seem like they got a lot of women. Hey, because these women just want their money, man. Yep. If they, if a Jake got a little bit of money, man. Mm. But we trying to serve the Lord, man. So we going to have to go through that fire, man. Okay. We we cut off all ties to Babylon the Great, man. Okay. A.K.A. America. Yep. Mm. brother got it. Yeah, I'm gonna read that over. Um, this is the book of Michael, chapter seven, verse nine. I will bear the indignation of the law of Yahweh because I have sinned against him until he pled my cause and execute judgment for me. He mm-hmm. will bring me forth to the light, and I shall behold his righteousness. Come on, come on. And the Lord say it's a righteous thing to recompense them that trouble us, man. So, like the brother said, man, we're going to be in good chill when they roll on us, man. Because we already know if they do something to us, more than likely, with Lord willing, he's going to lift up a standard. But if he don't, you know what I'm saying, and, and we have to be martyrs, we're going to be avenged, man. We're going to be avenged either way it go. And if we die and it's true, we know we're going to be one of the first ones raised up with your heart shot and come back on them chariots, man. So, either way it go, it's, it, we win. Yep. Cause at yep. the end of the day, even if they kill you, you die in, in, in Hamashiach, you have a shot. Shit, you ain't, you, you 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 first go, off, you ain't die. Come, come. You know, come. You just getting taken off the earth and waiting patiently to you know come. <laughs> the the job for the, those that's living is fulfilled. Man. Yo, you basically mm-hmm. done put off this corruptible body, man. Your yep. spirit has been freed up, man. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yep. <clears throat> you, but okay. you you didn't quit. You, know? you didn't quit, and and the race is finished, man. Yep. The race, your your race is finished, man. Only thing we want to hear is well done, my wise and faithful servant, man. From your You got. It. Mm, I got one more to back y'all brothers up. What y'all just said. Um, this is Psalms chapter thirty-seven, verse thirty-nine. But the salvation of the righteous is of the Lord Yahweh. He is their strength in the time of trouble. And we need strength right now, man, because like I like we just brought out earlier, hey, they wearing out us saints, man. They wearing us out, man. We got we 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 suffering on these jaw, like the oxide with our women at home. All kinds of shit, man. We just wore out, man. We not getting enough rest at night, man. But we got to keep going, man. Mm. You got it. Verse 40. 
and the Lord Yahweh shall help them and deliver them. Mm -hmm. He shall deliver them from the wicked and save them because they trust in him. And yeah. that's the faith and the patience yeah. of the saints, man. Oh. That's what we waiting on, man. Yep. The mm -hmm. captive, the captive hasten to be loose, man. Yep. Captive exile hasten to be loose. Come, come, come. You got it. Oh, we ain't get that jewel. Oh, God, God. I forgot about you. Oh, um, this is the book of Jude, chapter 1, verse 3. Beloved, when I gave all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation, it was needful for me to write unto you and exhort you that ye should earnestly contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints. Uh, we gotta earnestly contend for this fate, man. Come. Help someone on it. Uh, I don't know. Um, yes. verse four. For there are certain men crept in unawares. Oh, no, that, that was it. Oh, you know? So we gotta we, we gotta earnestly contend, man. You know, going into don't quit, just do it, man. We can't stop now. You know, we can't let up now. It's time to go harder, you know. Like, hey, we in the really we in the final stretch, man. Come on. You know, it's time to go and it, it, give it all we got, man. Cause we clearly see that this nigga trying to set up his new world order, man. Mm -hmm. It's it's plain, man. Good. Every country, every uh, what is called country, not country, continent. Mm -hmm. You know, all these world leaders, you know, the allies of America and the damn. Enemies, uh, so-called enemies of America, they all rolling out the same agendas. Mm -hmm. They all pushing forward to the same goal. They all talking about a, a new currency, a one world order, so to speak, man. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody talking about the, the greenhouse deal, what they call that shit? The green, the, green deal. the new green deal, climate control. And, you know, you go into climate control, ultimately it's talking about depopulate. Everybody ha has agreed upon that, man. Russia, you know, Korea, all these motherfuckers is, is in cahoots, man. You know, it ain't no secret no more, man. Mm -hmm. And Esau, hey, he finna lose it and just come straight out and tell you, look, this what it's gonna be. Hey, we, you, we catch your ass with a Bible. You can put the death. You know, this this what it's finna come to, man. Draconian uh -huh. law. Yeah, straight draconian measures, man, all over the earth, man. You know, because this nigga losing, and he losing bad, man. The uh -huh. heathen in general, the day of the Lord is near upon all you fucking heathen, man. Come uh -huh. care what you is, man. Come uh But -huh. first and foremost, you damn elite Edomites, man. Come uh -huh. You damn Edomites, y'all at grass, man. Yup. You and, know? And see these high-level elites, man, they, they in high places right now, and they still losing. But Jake is winning. We we, we low-level Jakes, yep. man, but we got this truth, man, so... Hey, that's that's all we could ever wish for, man, and hope for. Uh, you know, cause at the end of the day, hey, we know we know what we worship. The salvation is of the Jews, man. Like we brought out earlier, man, before we even started the lesson. Salvation is of the Jews, man. Uh, uh, and that's the elect of the nation of Israel, man. Don't get it twisted. Uh, but at the end of the day, all Israel shall be saved. You got it. Anybody had anything yet? You know, and that, hey, that do it for this lesson, you know. The Lord willing is with edifying. Mm -hmm. We're going to end it giving all honor and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rakakadash. And double honors to our apostles and elders, the great millstone rule well, being the greatest example to his younger brothers in the truth, and peace and blessings to the hope of it. With that, Shalom. Shalom. Kwam Yashallah. Kwam Yashallah. And the Baba Ba. The Baba Ba. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.